Hello and welcome to this short presentation on how to install and configure the RAS Plus CCTV software. This software is compatible on Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7. To obtain the latest copy of the RAS Plus software, please visit the Alert Systems website by going to www.alertsystems.co.uk once there, click on the Support tab and come down and either sign up or sign in. Follow the links to your digital video recorder page and download the latest copy of the RAS Plus software. Remember to save the installation file to a location that you can easily access. In this example, I'm installing the RAS Plus software onto a Windows XP machine. If you're installing onto Windows Vista or Windows 7, you may see additional buttons or boxes appear. If so, just click on the appropriate button to progress the installation. For example, Continue, Allow or Yes, etc. The RAS Plus software will download as a compressed zip file. You can extract this or simply double click on it and in the box that comes up double click on the RAS Plus 211 folder and then to start the installation double click on the setup icon. The setup will take a few seconds to start so whilst it's doing that just close this box down. The installation will check your computer for the components needed and will only install what is required. During the RAS Plus installation you may or may not see the .NET Framework component being installed. This will depend on whether you have this component already on your computer. The .NET Framework may take a few minutes to install if required. The next box to appear shows the default location of where the RAS Plus software will be installed. You can change this but I recommend you keep it as it is. You also have the option of installing the software just for yourself or for anyone else that uses the computer. Once you've made any changes simply come down to the bottom right hand corner of the box and click on the next button. In this box you have the option to automatically run RAS Plus when Windows starts up. If you wish to do this, place a tick in the box and then click on next and the installation will start. To complete the RAS Plus software installation you may need to install a component called MSXML. If this is the case a tick will appear in this box here. Simply click on finish and this starts the MSXML installation. Follow any prompts through, in this case click on next, accept and click on next. You can type any values into these two boxes here and click on next and then click on the install now icon. Once finished click on the finish button, click on close and you can see that the RAS Plus software icon is now on your desktop. Before you can configure the RAS Plus software you'll need to know the following information the IP address, the username and the password. To configure the software double click on the RAS Plus icon that is now on your desktop and come up to the top left hand corner and click on the hammer and screwdriver icon and this takes you into the setup box. Within this box click on the remote sites tab and then come down to the bottom and click on the add button. In the following box that appears make sure the reference group says remote sites, make sure device setup says DVR and then come down to the site name box and type in 
your site name. Come down to the IP address box and type in the IP address of your digital video recorder and then select from the drop down box how many cameras that you have. You can leave the use modem, use DVRNS and PC based DVR boxes all unticked and come down to your username box and type in the username and then type in your password and type in your password again to confirm. Once done click on OK and click on OK again and you can now see that in the top left hand corner your site name has appeared. To connect click and hold down the mouse button and drag your site name into the camera one box and let go. Select the watch screen and after a few seconds it will connect. If you wish to make the pictures bigger there's a selection of screen sizes at the very top. I'm going to select the four-way screen which is appropriate for the amount of cameras that I have. 